the Russian leader of the Ragnar Group is uh, vowing retaliation for what he believes is casualties caused by the Russian government. And due to that, the Russian government is accusing him of mutiny. And we do have some breaking news that is just into us here. Russia is investigating the head of a powerful mercenary organization, the Wagner Group, after the leader of that group vowed to retaliate for what he says was the Kremlin's killing of thousands of his troops. Moscow, for its part, says they consider the comments part of an armed mutiny or a coup, and they say they are now opening an inquiry into the group. The Wagner Group has sent thousands of its troops into Ukraine, basically acting as a second army for Russia, but disagreements between the Kremlin and Wagner's leaders have escalated in recent months. NBC's Ross Sanchez. You can't, you can't be uh, paid uh, a hired uh, army and then cry when your troops are being killed. Uh, he's probably just more worried about how he's going to have enough people for other wars and stuff. He's not going to be able to make any money. Is covering this for us from Kiev. So, Raf, break this down for us. What is the latest? Ryan, this is a fast-moving and confusing situation that is playing out in the middle of the night in Russia. It is 1.45 a.m. here in Kiev. It's 1.45 in Moscow. This is what we know at this hour. As you said, for months, there have been growing tensions between the Wagner mercenary group and the Russian military. But in the last couple of hours, those tensions have spilled over into an all new level. And in just the last hour or so, a senior Russian general has appeared on Russian state television and is accusing the leader of the Wagner group, Evgeny Prigozhin, of mounting a military coup against the Russian government. Now, we should say, at this moment, there is no indication that a coup is underway. We are not yet, uh, we are not seeing reports of fighting in the streets of Moscow or cities like this. It would honestly be awesome if the Wagner group started fighting uh, the Russian military, because that would definitely be the end of the Russian war. But the Kremlin is taking no chances here. The FSB, Russia's domestic security agency, has opened what they say is a criminal investigation into Prigozhin, the Wagner leader. They are accusing him of mounting an armed rebellion against the government. And these Russian generals are appealing on live television for these Wagner soldiers to stay loyal to Vladimir Putin, not to act against the state. So this is very... That's funny. I mean, they're mercenaries. They're only loyal to whoever, to whoever who pays them the most. They're not going to be just solely loyal to Putin. Very murky. It is very hard to understand what exactly is going on. But the schism between the Wagner group and the Russian military, military has opened into a chasm that is threatening to tear Russia apart right now. We are closely monitoring to see what else happens. President Putin's spokesman has put out a one-line statement. It says, President Putin has been informed of all the events around Prigozhin. Necessary measures are being taken. And there are reports from Russia now that the Russian state media is preparing an emergency broadcast to bring citizens of that country up to speed. At least this is hilarious because uh, Putin is also afraid of the mercenaries fighting against them. This is funny. Uh, Putin is trying to get uh, take control of the Wagner group by uh, accusing the leader of mutiny. At least on what the Kremlin wants them to know. Right. Hey, uh, Ruff, I know this is early in this whole process, but we also know that Ukraine is in the midst of, of, of a pretty important counteroffensive. How could this impact Ukraine's efforts in that regard? Yeah, I mean, it, it's incredible. Ukraine, after months of preparation, is throwing its forces into this counteroffensive against the Russian military, who are entrenched across the south and east of this country. And at the exact same time, it appears that Russia's armed forces are turning on each other. As you said, Prigozhin claimed earlier on tonight 
that the Russian military launched a strike on a Wagner camp and killed his mercenaries. In other words, Ryan, claiming that the Russian forces are now shooting at each other. Again, NBC News has not been able to independently verify that. Prigozhin has a history of exaggeration, but this shows you just how high the stakes are in the middle of the night in Russia. Ryan? Wow. Absolutely fascinating. Rob Sanchez, thank